Hey everyone, I am so sorry it's been like over a week since I last uploaded a video. I've been taking a little break watching some ISU World Championships and cheering on my girl Gracie Gold. Bragging rights. But now that's done, so let's talk about this movie. <laughs> Hardcore Henry. So Hardcore Henry is, I think, the first movie of its kind. The entire movie was shot from the point of view of first person with a GoPro camera. Those are those little tiny cameras that shoot 1080p, really good high definition. So the movie is like a first person shooter game that you watch as a movie. And at first I was like, oh, that could be really cool, you know, like watching a video game like Bioshock Infinite or something. This is gonna sound really weird, but I'm going with it. In the movie, you play as Henry. That's really what it feels like. You wake up, you have no memories. This woman here claims to be your wife. And then you go on this adventure I think through Russia with Charlotte Copley who was really good as always. In fact, the acting in this movie was really good. Charlotte Copley as Jimmy is like the Elizabeth type character. I'm gonna be using Bioshock Infinite references a lot here in this video because I've been playing it a lot recently. You know, he's the one guiding you through the adventure. He's helping you out. There's even a point in the movie where you run out of ammo and he's like, oh here I found some ammo. You just want to be like much obliged. And the bad guy in this movie, his name is Akon and he's a psychic. Like he'll lift people up telekinetically and throw them into walls. I don't know who the actor is, but he was really good. He was creepy as as hell. He looked like someone out of an anime or something. But the one thing you gotta know about this movie going in, besides the whole gimmick first person thing, is that this movie is violent as fuck! Oh my god, I had to shield my eyes quite a few times because gore is just not my thing. And yes, I know I've been saying that I've been getting better at it lately, but this is one of the most violent movies I've ever seen. I mean, people getting shot in the head and blood splatters, I can handle. But literally looking down and seeing yourself rip apart your own insides and ugh, I can't do that. Yeah, that happens in this movie, ugh. And there are quite a few scenes on that level of grossness throughout the movie. And that's really not my thing, so on my channel, I'm allowed to take a few points off for that. If you like that level of violence, then this is your movie for sure. And this movie is really just non-stop violence throughout. I mean, the movie is exactly what it says it is in the commercials. It's a non-stop action thrill ride. For an hour and a half, you're just doing shit and doing shit, and there are some parts that just flat out don't make sense. Like, a small example, being vague here, there is a scene with a horse. It's just one scene, it's like 30 seconds long, and it did not have to be in the movie at all. Just straight up, did not have to be in the film at all. I don't know why it was in there. In the end, Hardcore Henry had some really solid acting and some really cool action scenes. I mean, I had fun when you got the carbine, you just shooting dudes, you're like, yeah, this is awesome. You're like watching a video game, like I said. But there were points when it got a little too violent for me, and that's just a personal thing with me, and some story elements that I just didn't like because it didn't make sense to me. This movie is obviously not for everyone. It's really only for those hardcore action, things don't really have to make sense for me to enjoy it fans. For Hardcore Henry, I will say, wait until this movie's at a discount theater. Then go see it. I do like the soundtrack of this movie though. The score in this movie reminded me a lot of Portal 2. And hey, Portal 2's soundtrack is one of my favorite soundtracks ever. So what is your favorite first person shooter game? I want to know how many gamers we got here. Mine? I don't know if Portal 2 counts. If it doesn't count, definitely Bioshock Infinite. But whatever yours is, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.